if you want to contribute to the world, you have to contribute to yourself first. That is a quote that I heard yesterday that really uh, that really stuck with me. I hope my camera doesn't freeze today. I've also, I don't know what it is, but something about my microphone sounds off. And I don't know if it's just overly compressed. I'm going to boost my gain up just a little bit, just right there. Maybe, okay, here's the thing. I think my normal speaking voice, which is usually much, much louder than this, uh, at least when I'm streaming, when, when I'm speaking super softly like this in the morning, I think my gain isn't necessarily high enough. Now, OBS keeps showing me that I'm peaking. I don't really think that that's possible. We're going to know when we when we get back to this recording and we take a look. Every time that I start talking in here, the cat runs to my door and starts scratching and screaming. And I don't know if his yells are going to get picked up in the microphone, but I don't know if, it's, if he's used to... Because whenever I used to start streaming, the cat would come into the room and he would jump up and he would hang out. He's already eaten. I saw his fat fucking face buried in the bowl like 10 minutes ago. But as soon as he knows that I'm in here and he can't be in here, like we can't close the door in the house. You know what always drove me insane? Um, whenever I walk into somebody's house and there's like, <laughs> there's like a gate on the front door and then there's foam taped to the outside of of uh of like corners of dressers and then they got tin foil on the counter and then they have like uh th this part of this house that's blocked off and it's like they have their entire house that is just molded to the pet that they have like they completely have to change their entire house just so their pet cannot terrorize their life and whenever i think about that i'm like man do you live with the pet or does the pet live with you, you know? And obviously, like, some people don't know what they're getting into when they get a certain pet. You know, they become mischievous over time. And it's like, they don't want to get rid of the pet. And you like, you have to live with it. Um, I always wonder, too, like, who hates their dog? <laughs> like, who, who has their dog? I know this is, the, this is a terrible thing to think about, right? Because, like, you have a dog, you should love it. But what if... Just like your kid. What if you have a really shitty kid and they just suck and you hate them? I know you can't hate your kid, but you know, like you ever just walk into somebody's house and go, I think this person hates their dog. And of course you get sympathetic. You're like, oh my God, if you were my dog, I would love you. It's like when you get that, when you get that bro who meets you and your girlfriend when like you just had a fight 10 minutes ago and they're like, girl, if you were my girl, I would always treat you right. And you know, there's people like that that are always out there. Uh, but yeah, people hate their pets. <laughs> I don't know. It's just it's one of those weird things that I think about sometimes where, man, I wonder if this person really hates their pet. Uh, but some people, like, seriously, you walk in, you look around, and their house is completely conformed to their pet's needs. And it's just like, oh my God, what a, what a terrible way to live. Um, we are very, very fortunate. The only thing... I really have to do in my house is you probably can't see it, but underneath my server rack over here is the cat's food bowl. And I have a piece of plexiglass up that only the cat is able to get in and fit into. Why can't I see recording time on OBS? Okay, there it is. Um, just so the dog doesn't eat it. Um, Cause the dog has to eat shitty food, shitty healthy food because he has a sensitive stomach. And, um, and of course the, cat food that's sended with meats and fish is way more tasty and uh he was going after that after a while and i don't think he's even tried you know I'm, you probably can't see him at all but he's he's laying right there with his face pointed at the bowl but he's just passed out uh and that's really it our cat does not jump up on the counters or the table very very rarely does he jump up onto the craft room table Weenie's been saying that he's been jumping up on her desk recently, but he just like wants to mess with the lamp, the little lamp switch. Uh, and he obviously he jumps on my desk, but he fucking knows that he does not belong on the kitchen counter. And I would like to think that that's my doing. When I had him as a kitten, I did the tinfoil thing where I put tinfoil all over the counters when I first had him and plastic bags. And I would just stand in the kitchen and I would make food and I would just wait for him to jump up. And then as soon as he jumped, 
I would just grab the tin foil and the plastic bags and go, ah, and just scare the absolute shit out of them. I know it sounds terrible. Like I'm terrorizing the cat. Uh, the cat does ha hate plastic bags. However, does not jump up on the counters. Does not jump up. Does not go after human food that is on our coffee table or any of the, he does not do any of that. When he, when he was jumping up on our coffee table, he was just tipping over our water cups. That's all he was ever doing. I never understood it because he always had water. We have multiple bowls throughout the house for all of the pets. We even got one of those water fountains that has circulating water that goes through a filter. Spoiled and churlish. And uh, he would just tip over water. It was the weirdest thing. And he's completely fallen out of that. Um, but yeah, I only had to do that a few times. And then the cat was like, nope, counters. Never again, human, no like. And so I'm pretty, I've said it in my brain that I can never get another cat because I know the chances of me getting a second cat in a row that does not jump up on tables and paw at my food or jump up on the counters, um, like a cat that I used to live with, you know, if we had a trash bag that was sitting on the floor, he would chew through the trash bag to try and get to food, even though he ate twice a day, like wet food, drove me up the fucking wall. So the fact, like the chances of me getting a cat that isn't going to be like that. I'm like, I just probably rather never have a cat ever again. I definitely do want a dog. I have never had a dog that I went out and got, and that was for me. You know, we had uh, a golden retriever lab, a golden retriever, and then another golden retriever growing up. And um, Weenie has her dog that she brought, Boba Fett, the corgi. I need a, a drink of water. I'm I swear to God, you guys ever seen that Jackie Chan movie where the villain makes water that makes you thirsty? That's how I feel. I feel the more water that I drink, the more thirsty I am, which is probably a good thing. I've been drinking water like a boss. You don't even fucking know. Um, I've been trying with this new routine that I've implemented into my mornings. First thing I do is chug a glass of water. And sometimes it makes me want to throw up. Like I, I chug and then I burp and I can feel like cold water come back up and then I get a little nauseous. I'm like, mm, I might be pukey. And I don't know. It's super odd. I don't know if there's anybody else that does that thing. You know, what's funny is I actually, uh, I meant to start this whole mother effing uh, thing with a different topic and I completely went off the rails, but that's sort of kind of like another reason why I'm doing this video, uh, these videos in the morning. I have topics that I think about throughout the day that I know that I want to talk about, but sometimes those topics only last one to two minutes, you know? And so me just sitting here, hitting record and going, is kind of like training me on being able to talk without having any content and trying to just like pull things out of thin air. I just heard something. That was super weird. I was watching a Joe Rogan video before I went live. A bit li I've live. Oh my god! I had a <laughs> I freaked out for a second there. I thought I was live. Uh, so it's just kind of like practice of just like not only being able to conversate with myself, but when I sit down um, for podcasts with other people, you know, I want to be able to to kind of. I feel like being good at conversation is almost like a muscle that you can that you can train, and I definitely think it's something that I've gotten much better at. It's weird because like sometimes when I look back at earlier podcasts, I don't see that much improvement from like my, my point of view. Maybe other people do, but I know, oh my God, Elizabeth is playing World of Warcraft right now. You know she up late. <laughs> um, I know that back then I used to write two to three page scripts in Google Docs, like just to be able to have things to talk about on the show. And now... Like uh, Jimmy and Bishop and I, you know, we just throw down a couple topics we want to, we know that we want to touch on. And most of the time we don't even get to them all. And the podcasts are like still two and a half hours. <laughs> and uh, so it, it's gotten better in that sense. Um, and it's definitely something like when I think about the things that I've wanted to improve in myself with live streaming, um, working on talking and my conversation skills is definitely at the forefront. Um, so I'm super stoked to be able to sit here and just kind of shoot the shit for 10 minutes and go. And uh, 
10 minutes it is. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for checking it out. I'll see you later.